2.52 a.m. And this is what I'm doing. I'm sitting here talking to y'all. That's love right here. That's love. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Desi X Katie Dose of Colors uh, launch. I had actually purchased this on launch day. I got six out of the eight items that had launched. The Mirame Highlighter. I purchased the Girls Palette. I also got the More Creamer Please Lipstick, the Over the Top Lip Gloss, as well as the two matte liquid lipsticks in Hot Fire and Savage. So I purchased six out of the eight items that had launched. So I didn't get no shade or the Fuego highlighter. I did have a bit of an issue with my shipping and packaging. My package arrived. I was missing two items from it and I actually have my box here so I can show you guys. It looks as if someone was trying to get into the box, into the packaging. Um, and I guess they did so successfully because I was missing two items when my order did come in. However, I contacted the Dose of Colors unit and they shipped me miss the two missing items. This time they shipped it in their, I guess this is like their standard shipping like cartridge. This is the look I created, a nice bronzy tone um, eyeshadow look with um, a nude lip to complement it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on your way out. And you can hit the notification bell as well so you'll be notified anytime I upload a video onto YouTube. That way I know what you guys want to see. Uh, anyways, thank you so very much. Now let's get into the tutorial. Yeah, that way. Yeah. I put down some powder um, underneath my eye just to make sure I have something to catch fallout if there is any fallout with any of these shadows that I'm using. I'm gonna take some concealer and I'm going to place this all over my eye as my base to make sure that the eyeshadows stick and that they pop nicely. You going into the Morphe 35R palette and I'm going in with this shade right up here. It's like a taupey brown. I'm going with this cool tone brown here, and I'm going to deepen up the crease. For more warmth, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M330 into the shade Zulu to do this. The color on the eye. This is a Sigma E38. I'm going into the Anastasia Beverly Hill eyeshadow color in Fudge. I'm gonna go back in one more time with the um, Morphe M330 and the color Zulu to blend everything together. Now, what I want to do is slightly cut my crease. I'm going to go in with the shade No Leaf first. And they recommend using your fingers for this, so let me try that first. Then right on the inner corner, I'm going to go in with a little bit of now they do recommend to use this wet, so I'm just going to dip my finger in a bit of water first. So I'm going to pick up just a little bit of Casablanca from the Juvia's Place palette and I'm going to pop it closer to the outer corner. Just so I have a bit of a gradient. It's more of like a coppery shade. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with a clean Sigma E38 just to blend everything together in the crease. So I'm going to go in now with a bit of gel liner just to line my top lid. I'm going to try my very hardest not to make it into a wing. I like the way that's coming along. 
So now I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line using the same colors that I had used in the transition and in the crease. So I'm going to put a bit of gel liner in my waterline as well. I think I will go in with just a little bit of black. See how that just... I just intensified the whole eye right in this corner here. So I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm going to coat my top and bottom lashes. Okay, so let's get into the good stuff. Let's try out this highlighter. So the highlighter I got was Mirame. This is what Mirame does look like. Really, really pretty. I'm gonna go in with a Sigma tapered highlighter brush, the F35, but with light, I'm not, and I, you see, can y'all see that this is not falling apart? Hmm, no fallout. So it is possible to get a blinding highlight that doesn't fall apart on you. I'm going to just oh that is really pretty oh my god this is really really pretty whoa I think I need to pause and chill for a second do you guys see this with whatever's left I'm going on to my forehead, dewy. Like I'm just, I'm just slathering this all over my face at this point. I'm not even. I'm just going in. <laughs> so I'm going to apply my blush. I think I'm gonna go in with raisin. Low key, I want to put on more highlighter. <laughs> More. Yes, that right there. Just right there. Just let it let that soak in. Just take that in. Look at me. Mirame. Mirame. For the lip products for this look, um, I want to see what it looks like with the nude. I'm going in without a lip liner first just to see what it looks like. Very creamy. I think I'm keeping it like this. So I'm going to spray some Fix Plus all over my face and then we're gonna finish up this look, okay? Just bathe in that. <laughs> okay, so this is the final look. I feel like the eyeshadows, the only two unique colors that I honestly really see here are actually Harpoon and Turbosan. Um, the other two, Noli and Suze, I do feel like you can find these or similar shades like these in um, other palettes. However, they are beautiful. They do go on nicely and they are creamy enough. Um, they blend well. There isn't too much fallout with these eyeshadows, so I am happy with the purchase of that. The highlighter, oh my god, Mirame, I am definitely, abs this is, this highlighter is absolutely stunning. Very, very well formulated. Um, there's enough pigment, darker skin tones, can definitely wear this highlighter. You just have to be a little careful with how you apply it, and I would definitely recommend spraying or spritzing your face after with your favorite setting spray or mist. 
it's so beautiful it's a really really beautiful color a beautiful shade i think this is definitely worth the money worth the price the more creamer please lipstick beautiful however from seeing it alone while i was doing my makeup i prefer to wear it with the over the top lip gloss this lip gloss is beautiful it's got beautiful gold reflex on the inside however you can you can actually kind of feel the gold reflex it's not an uncomfortable like nasty feeling so i definitely think if you get um the lipstick you should get the over the top lip gloss to go along with it now the for the hot fire lipstick and Savage. I like the shades, however, I didn't put them on in this video. I definitely will do another tutorial using these two. Um, I had never ordered anything from Dose of Colors before, and this was my first time, and I can say even though I did have an issue, I have no problems giving them my money again, just because of how professional they were and how kind their customer service team was. So that that's something I definitely feel like I need to say. They handled that very, very well, and they were prompt. They were very prompt. Like, you called them, and there is somebody who was going to answer, and that's what I like. So in terms of the packaging, it's pretty. However, for safety reasons, I don't think because it's not very discreet, okay? That, that I'll say, okay? It's not very discreet. So in terms of the packaging for all the other items, they're beautiful, okay? They're beautiful. They're nice. They're shiny. However, the soft touch of the lipstick and stuff, that is going to get dirty easily. That is the only thing I don't like about that. But anyways... I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think if you have purchased any of the Dose of Colors products. Right here is definitely a rebuy. Um, they will be relaunching. I know the products are out of stock, but they will be relaunching sometime in September. That I know. I'm pretty sure that's what was said. They will be relaunching sometime in September. So this is definitely a rebuy for me. Um, but let me know what you think about this ROR series, the regret or rebuy. I'm really happy that um, you guys are subscribing to my channel and that you guys are giving me feedback on this. So please keep it coming. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Until then, stay blessed and stay golden.